The uh, crazy footage here to show you today from Ottawa where there was a pro-Palestine protest. And it looks like some of them actually tried to attack Justin Trudeau's blockade. So we got this uh, post here on X. It's from Right Blend. It says, pro sorry, pro-Palestinians swarm an RS RCMP vehicle belonging to Justin Trudeau's protection detail and try to push it back. Ottawa police are currently allowing the small group of pro-Palestinians to occupy the intersection beside the Prime Minister's office, completely shutting down traffic in all direction while the PM is inside. So let's have a look at this video and then we'll talk about it after, uh, like usual. More RCMP coming through. This is the RCMP being attacked. RCMP tried to get through Justin Trudeau's office. This is the RCMP trying to get through. This is the RCMP in front of Justin Trudeau's office getting attacked. This is the RCMP trying to get through here. The RCMP just tried to get through here. We're attacked by a mob. The RCMP attacked by a, this mob. The RCMP now retreating. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police retreating. Ottawa police noticeably absent. Absolute mayhem in downtown Ottawa as the RCMP just retreated from an angry mob. Absolute mayhem down here. See here, please share this absolute mayhem in downtown Ottawa, where two RCMP vehicles attached to Justin Trudeau try to get through into his office. This mob behind rushed the vehicles. The RCMP had to retreat. The RCMP retreating. Ottawa police are on scene, but not much happening. The roads are still blocked. Justin Trudeau's detail is still blocked in. The police are over here. I'm not sure what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so the first thing I want to say about that is, you know, no matter how you feel about Justin Trudeau or any politician, uh, this isn't something that you want to see, right? Like, I know there's some people who are going to be, you know, happy about this. Um, but trust me, this is not something to be happy about. You do not want to see this happen to anyone. This is obviously not a good situation. It's very hostile. It could potentially lead into something dangerous. Uh, I definitely condone any violence towards anyone. However, these policies that Justin Trudeau's created have allowed this kind of stuff to happen. So you can't feel too bad for him. Now, what I find very interesting is if you look at the what happened during the trucker protests, those people were labeled as terrorists, far-right racist groups, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're trying to throw the organizers in jail. They froze people's bank accounts. What's going on with this? Like, are, they, they said that the truckers incited violence, blocked off roads. They were too noisy. People couldn't sleep. They're screaming things like death to Canada, death to Israel. They're doing the same thing in the United States, burning the American flag, burning the Canadian flag. Long live October 7th. Explain to me how that's not inciting violence. Why are there no consequences for these protesters? Why aren't their bank accounts getting shut down? No one's being put in jail. The people who like literally tried to attack Justin Trudeau's blockade, are they even going to do time? Probably not. So why is it that the left, again, just another example of their massive hypocrisy. A protest happens that they don't like. They start crying, oh, we don't like the, we don't like this. These guys are, are far right racist conspiracy groups, yada, yada, yada. It was a bunch of nonsense. Illegally then had their bank accounts frozen. And anyone who supported it had their bank accounts frozen. Because that was dangerous, remember? But this isn't. The truckers were apparently inciting violence, but literally saying, long live October 7th, death to Canada. That's not inciting violence. 
There's no consequences for these protesters. None. Why? Seems like just massive hypocrisy, doesn't it? When people, anyone who disagrees with the far left is now deemed as, you know, they're violent, they're racist, they're conspiracy theories, they're they're sexist, they're all these other crazy things that people will just attach to people who disagree with them. And it's crazy. It's nonsense. And now to see, like, the, the prime minister himself being attacked, and he's still probably not going to do anything. Like, is this, guy, is this guy just completely checked out? Seems like he's letting all this stuff happen on purpose. And where were all the Ottawa police? There was like five or six of them there. And two of them were standing around. Like, what's going on here? I mean, it, this just doesn't... Oh, like it's just like seeing these protests happen all the time like this and seeing that you know, I posted a video last week where they're burning the flag and they're death to Canada, death to Israel, burn Israel, burn. I mean, it's just crazy. And you're even seeing some people who come over here from foreign countries and they love this country. And they would be devastated to see things like this happen, burning the Canadian flag. They love this country and they want to embrace this way of life. That's why they came here. But then there's other people who come here and they want to change the country. There's a lot of people who want Canada to turn into some Sharia law state. And then we're allowing them to incite violence, block off roads, cause a bunch of noise. Remember all those terrible things those truckers were doing, but here these pro-Palestinian protesters are doing not only the same thing, they're taking it to an even higher level. They are actually inciting violence and nothing's being done about it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I think this is disgusting. I'm pretty much at a loss for words. I didn't really have too much to say there, so forgive me. But please let me know what you guys think. It's just, this is kind of like every day I wake up, it's just there's this more crazy nonsense going on in this country. And it's got to stop. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. It really helps grow the channel. And please, I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this. So don't forget to uh, comment your thoughts, questions, or anything else that's on your mind. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.